Hi everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so excited to show you behind the scenes of an executive MBA and what I get up to at Cranfield University. My day kicks off at 5am where I get up, pop a cosy jumper on, get my hair into a bun and get cracking with my daily monk mode. This is dedicated time that I spend every day clearing my inbox, getting some deep focus work done, and spending time growing our business. Just because I'm away at uni does not mean that the business slows down. We are now a team of eight, and so now more than ever, monk mode is vital to ensuring my day runs as efficiently as possible. Time for a quick shower before getting ready for the day. I usually prioritize comfort for the long days at uni, and so jeans and a hoodie suit me fine. Hello everybody, good morning and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, I'm really excited to have you here with me today. I am currently on campus at Cranfield University for actually my penultimate weekend away for my executive MBA. So my MBA kicks off in January 2020, so the way uh, an executive MBA works is it is a full master's degree but you do it part time so it takes twice as long, so for most MBAs that is two. So you have two whole years worth of lectures with, I think in total it's 30 assignments or maybe 25 across the two years and each month you come and you spend an entire weekend, a whole three days on campus with back to back to back lectures for the entire weekend and then you go away, you have to do pre-reading, post-reading, writing assignments, studying for exams. So it's currently November 21, I've got December 21 and that is the whole two years complete which really 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 is crazy. I thought today would be a really lovely opportunity to bring you along with me because I've got lectures today, I am studying for managing strategic innovation all day today and then I also tonight we have a big sort of like final party, we're going out for dinner, it's actually firework night so there's going to be fireworks. Um, our cohort is pretty lively so I'm actually quite excited to see um, to show you guys like the behind the scenes of even just, just, just going out for dinner. Um, I'm actually teetotal and don't drink, but I think I'm probably one of the only people in the entire cohort that don't. So like last night, for example, me and a couple of other people just went out for dinner, we went to a local pub, it was pie night, it was very wholesome, had a nice time, and then they all sort of continued on to the bar and I came home and I was tucked up into bed by about half nine. So I've had a very restful night's sleep, However, I woke up this morning to a WhatsApp at one o'clock this morning of the rest, or a, a large chunk of our cohort, um, building a human pyramid. So that's what happens when I go to bed. So um, as you saw, I get up at five. I actually, my alarm went off at five and then I closed my eyes again and suddenly it was quarter past five. So <laughs> that did not go well. My alarm goes off at five. I get up, I get my head down because work doesn't stop just because I'm here. So I try and get a good like solid two hours of work done before I then get up, get, have a shower, get dressed um, and actually ready for the day. So I'm now, it is just gone at 7 a.m. Let's just kick off at half eight. I'm just gonna run down and grab some breakfast and then take a leisurely walk, probably with a coffee, uh, down to where my lecture is today and I'll bring you behind the scenes. I am, I think as a lot of you know, hard of hearing and I actually thought it would also be a really great opportunity to show you what university is like if you're hard of hearing. Um, this is actually, since my operation failed and I lost hearing in my right ear, this is my first time back at university and um, I was quite scared. I was really, really nervous that it was just gonna be difficult and that like, that I would feel a bit like a burden as well because like people have to come and like help me and stuff. Um, but like the university have been incredible so far and so I'm quite excited to show you like what technology I use as well because there's a couple of different elements that I use depending on what situation I'm in, how much I can hear and things like that. But everybody has literally been incredible. I, it's, it's just taken a huge weight off my shoulders. So um, I'm gonna grab some breakfast. I'll show you a little couple of bits and bobs. Uh, get some breakfast, get a coffee, walk down to my lectures and I will see you guys in a sec. A super quick and easy breakfast of a croissant and a coffee before walking across campus to my lectures for the day. As you can see, the Cranfield campus really is an awesome space. I'm in lectures now and wanted to show you my setup. So on my laptop, I have live transcript subtitles which come straight from the lectures microphone. 
I also have a closed loop system, which I wear around my neck and feed the audio from the lecture straight into my hearing aid. Today's lectures are all about managing strategic innovation. There was lots of group work in between the lectures, which made it quite a nice paced day rather than a solid eight hour lecture. So it was a really lovely session for a Friday. Hello. Okay, so that is the entire day of lectures over. It is currently nearly six o'clock. So I've just got back to the hotel. It is the big meal tonight. And so I have a mountain of work and emails to catch up on. So I'm actually just gonna sit, um, clear some emails. I might just sit on the bed and do it. Um, clear some emails, spend some time on my laptop getting some work done and then um, I will very quickly get ready for the meal and I will bring you along with me. But it was a really, really great day of lectures. Um, strategic innovation was really good. Lots of like group work, collaboration, which was amazing. So um, I'm just gonna sit and do some emails and then I'll catch up. <laughs> Alrighty, so I am ready for the meal. I'm just gonna go pick up the people that I am giving a lift to, and I will see you at the meal. The location, the food, and the company for the meal was absolutely fantastic. And what I really wanted to show you, in case you are considering an executive MBA, is that the cohort and sometimes flaming Sambuca make the course come to life. As we look up at the stars in the sky Did we ever stop and wonder why We let our love shine all through the night Just you and me, babe, until the morning light The morning 